Well, at least it's not drugs. Ladies and gents, today we're going to be taking a look at the KTJ driver's side grab handle kit. Now this is going to be specific to a Gen 3 Tacoma because, as most of you know, there is no grab handle on the driver's side. A little bit weird, but hey. Um, as far as I know, they are the only company that makes a kit like this. Um, they also make front and rear type of kits for the second gen Tacomas, the Tundras, the Forerunners, and then they also do some type of tailgate locks, lighting kits, wiring harnesses. They do a little bit of everything. But in this specific video, we're going to be going over what comes in the kit and then the install. All right, so when you get on the site, you've got a couple of options. You can buy it brand new. Um, it comes in tannish gray and then black. Uh, that's going to run you about 180-ish, if I remember correctly. But you have a second option of buying a clearance one. Um, according to the description, it's like a factory second blemished type of deal. Perfectly functional. Nothing's actually broken on it. Um, comes with all the parts. We'll see if that's true. Um, and that's going to run you about $100. So pretty big savings. Um, when I was looking around the site, they only have the tan ones on the clearance. So if you can get away with it, it's a good option. Quick little warning, you're going to want to check what color you actually need. Um, I assumed I have a black interior, black seat, black dash, black everything. We'll order black. I ordered the black one and get in my truck to see the only two pieces of tannish gray plastic in the entire truck are the pillars. So that was a little bit annoying. But luckily, I looked out the clearance section. The only ones they have are the tan ones. So that kind of worked out. Now you might be sitting there thinking, bro, why'd you buy two driver's side grab handles? Are you dumb or something? No. More on that later. So for the sake of doing a complete review, um, we're going to review the black kit. And then install-wise, we'll go with the uh, tan kit. Alright, so starting off, right off the bat, you're going to notice the boxes are a little beat up. And that is because they get shipped directly in this box. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing if you're putting them in a good box to start off with. That's fine. But in this case, they are not. Um, they literally were sitting on my steps open kind of like this. So, you already see the one in the back's fully open. Um, the other side... A little tape but we've got parts sticking out in transit not a great thing but uh, inside wise everything's bubble wrapped up so that's good to see let's get it open so once you open up the box you're gonna have your pillar cover that's your main piece uh, the actual handle and then a little baggie with hardware, the cover for those, and a little plastic removal tool for getting the existing one out. Another quick note, uh, for anyone wondering clearance versus brand new, any differences, um, on the handle at least, no complaints. Um, it's actually in better condition than the black handle, so that's kind of weird. Um, the kit Nothing was missing compared to the black parts kit. Um, the only difference is you can kind of see there's some black foam on the tan one and some, I don't even know what that's called. It's like fuzzy tape almost. So I don't know if that's maybe them or a return or something. I don't know. But there's foam on the clearance one, and no foam, no tape on the black one. So, kind of weird, but we'll see how it installs. Just a quick note about the hardware. Um, if you've done a little bit of research um, from people posting about them, you see some people in the beginning, like the first couple that they've shipped out, people were having trouble with the hardware and then the bolts. At a first glance, they look a little bit different slash better than the pictures I've seen, but really we'll see how it installs before we go making conclusions. 
So now we're up to the installation part. You're gonna wanna get your kit, obviously, the pillar, the handle, the hardware, and the little orange plastic tool. Tool-wise, you're gonna also need socket set, obviously. We've got our trusty Harbor Freight set here. Um, a screwdriver and then a screwdriver for the sockets. Some less obvious stuff you're gonna need. Swivel sets for the sockets, as well as tape. Any tape's gonna do, but this automotive tape, super sticky and it comes off nice. So we're gonna be using that. So your first step is gonna be taking your orange pry tool and taking off this little cover right here. I'd say start from the top. As you can see, there's a little holding tab, so you don't wanna pry from down here, pry from the top. Save you a trip, it's a size 10, and you're gonna want it deep because regulars will bump into this. So once you get the screw off, it comes off pretty easy. And now your piece of plastic trim is loose, peel from the top, and kind of just, you wanna rotate it clockwise and pull it out. So once you have the trim off, you're gonna notice there are two holes. That's one, that's the second, this one's threaded, and this one is not. So if you look in the little parts hardware kit, uh, you'll notice there's only one gold clip. That's going on your bottom hole. Um, a little thing to help you out beforehand, I threaded mine in to make sure it fits nice. It does, and also two little pieces of tape. And when you see it next, it'll be up on that hole. And you see I threaded it in a little bit, just so I know it's in a good spot to fit when I've got the cover back on. Okay, so you see I have it taped up. I know it goes through the hole nice and easy because once you have the trim on, it's going to be a lot harder to line up, but that should go through nice. It should stay put because of the tape. We also tried putting in the second one. It's a little rough the first couple of times through. I don't know if that's Toyota's fault or um, the hardware that we're putting in, but just run it through a few times and then she's good to go. Now, before you go forcing stuff, just to give you guys an idea, these two tabs right here are gonna end up in this slot down here. You can kind of see there's two holes down there, one farther away and one close to you. So that's where you're aiming to get these two tabs. Um, you're gonna wanna start at the bottom and then slowly counterclockwise this time, twist it in as you go up the pillar. That should avoid breaking anything. I'm not saying they're delicate, but I could easily see you messing them up. Something to keep in mind, the weather stripping, when you're getting it down in this corner, if you can get it behind the weather stripping, it'll be a lot easier to install. Now you can see we already got the trim on up here, and we've also got to put the handle in. The handle on the back has two clip looking things that'll match up with the holes you see in the trim, and it only goes in one way, and you'll hear it click when it goes in. And it's pretty firm at that point, but you're still gonna to have to put in one and two bolts. So now that you're up to putting the bolts in, you're going back to your hardware kit, and you're gonna get two bolts, two spacers and the washer. Washer goes on first and the two spacers and then you're putting those into the two holes on the handle. 40 minutes later, yes you heard that correctly, 40 minutes it took to do these two stupid screws. Now I wish I had some type of cheat code for you guys like hey you just gotta do it this way and you'll be good to go. Nope there is none. It's just a pain in the ass. Um, for me I used an Allen key of all things to just try and line up the hole and then quick and get the, the nut in there. You gotta hold it tight so it doesn't, it's a pain in the ass. Um, I wish KTJ did a little bit better job of like, hey, here's some stuff to try. But there was, I don't even think there were directions in the box, but you know, hey. Um, to Toyota's credit, it's not their fault. The bolt in there is at a certain angle and the trim that you take out matches not so with this it's at a slightly different angle so you're pushing it it's a it's not fun but it's in your last step is going to be putting the two covers on pretty easy you see a little tab on it and you match it up with the tab up here it's in overall really stiff nice looks pretty much identical to the passenger side um no complaints quality wise it's just a pain in the butt to install <laughs> no way around it one more thing to address. Now, chances are, if you're looking at this product, you didn't just stumble across it. You saw it in a Facebook group, a Reddit group, a forum, something like that. And you already have a rough idea that people don't exactly like KTJO. Not because they have a crappy product. They have really good products. Um, they don't have good customer service. And unfortunately, that part is still true. Um, I kind of did this video thing. I'm like, hey, I'm just some random guy 
That way people will see, like, oh, no, they fixed everything. That was just early on. We've got it all ironed out. Not the case. Um, as you saw, I have two sets right now. I did not want two sets. Now, I ordered the first one. Wrong color. Send them an email hours later. Hey, can we just swap out the color? You know, no big deal. Um, never heard back from them. A couple of days later, I'm like, I got to make this video. Um, I guess I'll just order a second set and return the first one. Send them an email. Hey, can we cancel that first order? Heard nothing back from them. Eventually, they get here. Um, I do the first part of that video, as you saw. And I'm like, okay, now I got to return it. I have no use for it. Send them another email. Never heard back. We're weeks later at this point. I still haven't got a response. So that's kind of disappointing to see that, like, we have a really good product. We did a lot of work to make it a good product, but we just have some logistics problems and some customer service problems. If we could just fix those two things, you'd have a really good company. I think they'd be a lot more popular. So that's just something to keep in mind. Short and sweet. It's a well-made product. Nice and stiff. Installation. Annoying, but not impossible. Probably budget about an hour to put it in. The company could be a little bit better about responding to emails and stuff like that, but not a deal breaker. I'd still recommend it to everyone. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. But other than that, thank you for watching.